Days away from that whole much talked about solar eclipse that's going to happen and the rare event well has a local planetarium very very busy right well, now. Everybody's excited. Mm -hmm. 13 Action News reporter Marissa Kiniston visited CSN to find out what you need to do not only to protect your eyes but also your phone. It's really, really been a big increase this last week. It's been a steady stream of people here at the planetarium at CSN. People asking questions about the solar eclipse and of course looking for safe ways to watch it. Real solar glasses are going to be where the only thing you would be able to see through them is the sun. Officials say you won't just need these glasses if you plan to look at the eclipse. You'll also need to put them over your smartphone if you plan to take a picture or a video like this. We've told you about counterfeit glasses being sold online. To make sure you get the glasses that won't hurt your eyes, the planetarium is selling them, but they're going fast. Here in the valley, the moon won't completely hide the sun. Officials say we'll have about 75% coverage, but it will still be something to see. Every time you get a chance to see an eclipse, it's worth it. At the College of Southern Nevada, Marissa Keniston, 13 Action News. We have a full section on our website dedicated to Monday's eclipse, including a guide to make your own eclipse viewer and uh, also some party ideas, solar eclipse themed food. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really great section. Our web team's done a phenomenal job. Check it out at KTNV.com eclipse. Yeah, it's going to be a big event, right? I'm yep. getting more excited the closer we get.